I previously made this video about drawing a flat sketch on iPad. In that video, I traced an existing t-shirt sketch and you may not have or want to draw over an existing sketch. So today I want to show you how to draw your flat sketch using a croquis. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Mikkel Drew Pelham. I talk about digital fashion design software and communication on this channel. So if that's something you're interested in, make sure you subscribe and hit the notification bell. Now, one thing I do want to make clear is that most designers, when they're drawing flat sketches, will use some type of template, whether that's a garment or a croquis. It's very rare that anyone is drawing freehand when you're drawing a flat sketch. You want your sketch to be accurate and proportional. So some type of template is always helpful to ensure that. So the first thing I'm going to do is tap import and open and find my croquis. Once it's open, select it and make it lighter using the opacity icon in the context menu below the sketch. I am able to do this because my croquis is a raster picture file. But if your file is something you drew in Illustrator, you'll need to select the sketch and change the fill or stroke color. Next, open the layers panel, lock the layer, and then create a new layer to draw your new sketch. Last thing you'll do before you start sketching is to add a center front guideline. And if you remember from my original video about flat sketching on iPad, rulers hadn't been released. So I demoed a different method in that video. But since then, rulers have been added to the iPad version of Illustrator. So you can now drag a guide as you would when you're drawing in the desktop version. So tap the precision icon, turn on rulers, and make sure that all guides are set to lock. So they'll automatically lock in place when you drag and drop them. Tap the precision icon again to close the panel and then drag a guide to mark center front of the croquis. Now I'm just going to draw a simple sundress and I'm going to do that without voicing over the details. If you need an overview of the tools and how they work in Illustrator on the iPad, make sure you watch my original video. I'm stopping here because one of the other things I used in the previous video that I've since changed methodology is using the mirror function to reflect. It sounds like a great idea, but after using it a few times, I've realized it actually causes other problems. So instead, I'm going to use flip vertical. Select the sketch with the selection tool, then using the context menu, tap the icon to make a copy. Tap the icon for the align panel and at the bottom, tap the flip vertical icon. Lastly, press the touch shortcut button to keep the second half of the sketch aligned with the first and drag to meet the center front guide. The touch shortcut button will keep it aligned as you drag it, so you won't have to do as much adjusting. The next thing you do is join, add color, and group the sketch. And if you wanted to add stitching, I would suggest you do that before you flip and join. And the method to do all of those things, if you don't know how, is explained in this first video. So make sure you check that out if you need to. 
But the main purpose of today's video was to show you how to sketch over a croaky and to emphasize that it is okay. And in fact, you should use some type of template or guide to draw your flat sketches. These are the most important sketches a designer creates, and they're used and seen by almost everyone in the brand, including tech design, merchants, sales, product development. It's important that they're accurate, so using a guide to ensure that they are is encouraged. Thanks for watching today's video. If you're new to Illustrator for Fashion Design and want step-by-step -step instruction to show you how to use Illustrator as a fashion designer, make sure you check out the link in the description to my course or my beginner's manual, both of which includes tutorials on using Illustrator on iPad. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share this video if you find it helpful. Have a fantastic week and I'll see you next time.